I'm on the Elder Scrolls Online Wrathstone update on a Magical Warden. I was doing some theory crafting on, mo on most Magic uh, DPS classes. You'll run a Shockleft on your back bar for a single target, or a Berserker for AoE, or an Azor Magic Glyph if you need the extra sustain. I was thinking on a Magicka Warden, since you'll have modern vulnerability up all the time in an organized trial group, from either available Aether or scavengers to mice, that a Frost Glyph will do pretty good. Or possibly better. Because from the Winter's Embrace passive, Piercing Cold, it increases your magic and frost damage by 6%. And looking now the tooltip here, the fire weapon and the shock glyph will be the same. So with a shock glyph is 56-65 damage, and a frozen weapon enchantment is 58-63. So I did uh, 5 purses each on a 6 mil and calculate the average. Other than changing what the back bar enchantment is, I kept everything else the same. I ran Mother Sorrow, Infernal Staff, Infused Front Bar with Flame Damage, Nails from Inferno, Infused on the back bar, Heavy and Memes on for the monster set, Sororia Perfect for the body set, all Divines, All Magic, Mother Sorrow Jewelry, All Spell Damage Enchantments, Two Bloodthirsty, One Arcane. I'm a Bren, a Vampire. I was using Ghastly Eyeball Pars Food for the Parses. I was using the Shadow Mundus. My Champion Point Allocation is 11 Spell Erosion, 64 Elemental Expert, 72 Elfborn, 72 Master at Arms, 11 Staff Expert, and 40 Thermoturge. I saved the top parses with each glyph. On the shock glyph, uh, the highest parse was 50,000. 784 with a 66% minor vulnerability on time. 66% minor vulnerability would be equal to 5.28% extra damage. And taking that out, it will be 48,237 DPS. And with the Frost Cliff, my top parse was 48,359. So for comparing top parses, the Frost Cliff beat out the shock cliff by a little bit. I'm gonna turn over to the uh, spreadsheet that shows all the parses and the averages. Be right back. Alright, here I am at the spreadsheet. I have the parses for the shock cliff, the minor vulnerability uptime for the parses. The Shockleaf parse is corrected for my vulnerability, and the parse is for the Frostglyph. The Shockleaf averaged at 48,742. Correcting for my vulnerability, the Shockleaf parsed average of 46,533, and the Frostglyph averaged at 47,496. So when correcting for my vulnerability, the Frostglyph hit almost 1k more than the shock glyph. So if you're in a group where you have your modern vulnerability up, you have your infallible aether, you have or scavenger's demise, a frost glyph will be a better option on a magical warden. Although if you're in content where you're not having that support, like let's say you're running VMA or if you're running an open run where people don't have all their sets or if the healer can't get a heavy attack in because there's a bunch of mechanics going on, a shock glyph might work out better. But otherwise, on a Magical Warren, 
uh, Frostglyph back bar looks like it's going to be the better option.